Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm actually going to talk about AMC stock as this is probably one of my most requested videos right now, weirdly enough, especially on my Patreon. They're talking about this one a lot and they personally want to hear my opinion. So I will cover the AMC stock in today's video, but specifically the insider ownership as that will give you guys a better hint as to why a lot of people are talking about short squeezes and stuff like that. And also about recent purchases from pretty big uh, hedge funds and pretty big corporations. So I will also cover that as besides that, I feel like a lot of other YouTubers cover a lot of news. So I want to cover the aspects that a lot of YouTubers and influencers don't cover. So I will be talking about all of those things in today's video. But before I begin the video, definitely consider liking and subscribing as it is free and it really helps the channel out. Also, if you're interested, head over to my Patreon where you can join a great community of like-minded investors. And if you join my Patreon, you will have access to my Discord server when it launches in the upcoming days. Also, in the description is a link to sign up to Weeble where if you sign up with my link, you can get two free stocks worth up to 3,600 US dollars. And after you see those stocks, you can sell them, you can hold on to them. Basically, it is free money, so check out that link in the description if you're interested in getting two free stocks. So we will first take a look at the ownership of this AMC Entertainment Company, as I think that will probably help you guys get a better understanding as to why a lot of people are talking about the public and why basically the public can really determine the future of this stock potentially. So as you can see, 88.5% is owned for the other category. Now, a lot of people believe that this is the total ownership of the public. This is just another category for the other. Rather, I believe it is around 80%. Do not quote me on that, but I believe it's around 80% that is owned by the public, which is quite a lot. If we look at, for example, Apple stock, it's only like, I believe around 30%, maybe lower for the Apple stock, which is much, much lower. Obviously, it's tough to compare the two companies as they're both in different sectors and, you know, there's a lot of hype behind the AMC stock, but that is almost like a 50% difference. So that is a major reason as to why a lot of people believe that the public has a lot a lot of ownership of the stock which can probably help control the stock price a bit it's not going to obviously be a major contributor to the stock price moving up or down but i believe that it might help that the public owns around 80 percent as they will be able to have some control over the stock price again not a lot but that is just one bull case i guess you can say for this amc stock the next bull case for the AMC stock that is pretty recent is actually the institutional interest. So for example, on March 30th alone, you can see that Goldman Sachs bought around 12,000 shares of AMC stock. Now, keep in mind, this is not a lot for Goldman Sachs. This is like pennies for them or dollars, but uh, 12,000 is, you know, still, a decent amount it shows that they are keeping tabs on the amc stock obviously this is not something to like completely celebrate over or this is not something to be concerned about whether they're like holding and they're going to short a lot it is just showing that even these big institutional companies like goldman sachs is having a little bit of interest in amc they're keeping tabs on it which i think is pretty impressive for a reddit stock like amc to be receiving this worldwide attention and even attention from these hedge funds of course that is really cool and just shows the power that the people on the internet actually do have and it's also cool that even these institutional companies are maybe going to start getting involved in these you know hype stocks and reddit stocks like amc so i thought that this was a pretty cool piece of news obviously this is not like a super bullish case but I do just want to point it out as I think it is interesting to take a look at. We will now take a look at the recent price action 
for the AMC stock. More specifically, we will be taking a look at the past five days for the stock as of this recording. And of course, I will be using Weeble to show you guys the five day chart. If you've never heard of Weeble, basically it is a trading platform and one that I use to trade crypto. So if you're also interested in opening an account with Weeble, definitely check out my link in the description because you can get two free stocks if you sign up with my link. But anyways, just by taking a look at this chart right off the bat, you can see that there were some pretty big dips and some pretty big increases. And the past couple of days, it's actually mainly just been consolidating after these big dips and rises in stock price. So for example, the past three, four days-ish, the stock has basically just been consolidating. It's been moving up 1%, moving down 2%, moving up 3%, stuff like that. So it's in a consolidation phase right now, which is leading a lot of people to believing that a short squeeze could be happening. And in my opinion, I do believe that a short squeeze actually might be happening soon, just by looking at the charts and looking at the short interest over time. But again, it's really all up in the airs. People have been talking about a potential short squeeze for like five weeks and you know for every single day so you can never really know when it happens but i think that it actually could occur soon but you really never know anyways i do believe that the stock still could rise more potentially mainly because of all the hype that's getting all the attention that's getting i mean if you look at the daily volume or if you look at reddit there's basically a post every few minutes and especially during market open, it's like every couple of seconds. So there is a lot of hype for the stock. And I do believe that a lot of people are still excited for it. So I think that it could continue to rise. But again, I am not a financial advisor. And this is just my personal opinion. So that's the end of the video, guys. I really hope you liked it and found it informative. Again, if you want to support the channel, check out my Patreon in the description below where I post my daily announcements, daily news, stock updates, buy and sell alerts. Also, there is the link below to Webull, where if you sign up with my link, you can get two free stocks. And finally, comment down below what stocks I should review next. And I will see you guys soon.